Hi folks, uh, today I'm going to talk to you about what you can do if you accidentally launder your money in the washing machine, um, taking money laundering to a whole new level. Uh, I accidentally put £140 into the washing machine in my trouser pocket. I know it was £140, uh, but when I noticed what I'd done and emptied the machine, there were notes flying all around the machine, yes, but there was also a lot of money missing. £65 was missing, actually. So 75 came out, 65 was lost. And as you can see in that picture, it's very easy for the money, because it's very thin, to slip down in between the metal of the drum and the plastic that encases the drum where the water would swish around. So this is what happened to my money. 65 pounds of it in 20s, 10s and 5s has all slipped inside the drum and I have to figure out a way to get it all out. So I went to Google and to my surprise there wasn't really much information so I decided I would uh, try and document my ideas, what I did to get my money back and um, would you believe I actually managed to retrieve one, uh, so 65 pounds was lost, I actually managed to retrieve uh, 75 or 85, sorry 85 pounds out the washing machine so I got the 65 back that I lost, plus a bonus extra £20 note that I didn't even know was in there. And it's probably been in there for a very long time. So the first thing I did, of course, was um, to unplug the washing machine from the power. Electricity and water doesn't mix, so please make sure before you do anything to your machines that you do unplug them. Um, next thing, obviously, pull it out from the wall. And uh, I was quite disgusted to see how much uh, rubbish and debris was under there, so I give it a quick sweep. And um, I've just taken this quick little video just to show you where and how the money goes. So as you can see, that £20 note is just very easily slipping inside there. So as my money was swishing all around, that's where it went, posted like a little post box in there. And uh, after the washing machine had finished its spin, all the notes were stuck tight against the outside, out, uh, the plastic, which uh, encases this metal. So I had a good look around the rim, all around the rubber to see if I could see any bits of money sticking out, but there weren't any there. So... The next thing I did was to, uh, well, pull the machine out, as I said, and then the uh, first thing you want to do is drain any excess water that's in, still in the machine. So you do this by removing this little uh, front flap, put a little tray against it. There's a little hose here on the left. If you just pop off that rubber um, seal, the water will all flow out. So let that run until there's nothing left coming out, and that will be the majority of the water that's still in the machine. Just saves it going all over your floor. Nobody wants that. Um, made a bit of a mess, a bit of a clean up. Um, this little thing, you just untwist it, it's just a little cap, and once you get inside there, you're kind of into the filter, where I did find quite a bit of debris. That's a piece of broken bra wire, another bit of broken bra wire. That's actually a needle, God knows how that got in there or how long it's been in there. And there's some other weird thing stuck at the back which I couldn't quite reach, so I grabbed my trusty tweezery thingies and just gave that a little tug like a piece of elastic or something disgusting so that's all clean that's the job needed done anyway but now for the money hunt plug that all back in wind that back up and the next thing is to lift the machine up and set it back at sort of like a 45 degree angle i've got washing baskets behind the machine which is just holding it there nicely make sure it doesn't slip forward and squash you and in here you can see that is the sump pipe that's where the water drains out and you can see there's a screw there so i've just unscrewed it pulled it off and lo and behold, the beautiful queen's head. Rest in peace, your majesty. And rummage around, pull it out, and what have we got? It's a fiver. So that's the first fiver, and that wasn't too hard to find. Uh, next, I went and unscrewed the back panel, uh, which is literally just Phillips screws. Just screw them off, there's about five or six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, I think, four, five. And that will lift away demonstrating how to take a screw off. A bit boring, I know you know how to do that. And inside here we have the back of the machine, obviously. So what we're going to try and do is go for the element. There's a, a water heater element in here. That's it there. What you have to do is take that, unscrew that bolt in the middle and then tap the nut, or sorry, unscrew the nut and then tap the bolt a little bit and that will loosen the seal and then you can just pull it out, slide it out. I had trouble unclipping all the wires so I just left them on and um, freed up a bit of space by unclipping them from their uh, the little wires that were holding them on which call them cable ties and I've just about got enough room to wriggle that out without actually having to disconnect any of the wires but if you can disconnect the wires it's probably easier and look at that look at that another beautiful queen's head there we have a perfectly intact plastic British UK 20 pound note sterling good as new nice and clean but where's the rest of my money? I'm looking in there. I'm not seeing anything else. What do we do? What do we do? So I went to bed and had a sleep and had a, you know, slept on it, had a think. 
And this is the next morning. Do you see that little arrow? Just where the arrow is, you can see a, a sparkly gold kind of light. And, and up there to the right, you can kind of see through the holes. This is through the holes of the drum. You can just about make out the pattern of a £10 note. See that? That's like the little sort of herringbone markings on a £10 note. don't know how to describe that. But that's where my money is. Well, one of them anyway. It's stuck between the drum. You see I'm turning the drum slowly. And you can see the pattern is staying still, but the drum is moving down. That's because my notes are all stuck to the plastic outer casing inside the drum. So what do we do? What do we do? I had a think. There you can see little blue, little little shimmers of blue. That will be a fiver. The fivers are blue. And um, yeah, so I was going to try and hoover them out. Um, I did try spinning the drum a few times, wasn't releasing them. It was just sucking them back to the back of the drum even more. So I took to poking at them with a little wire. Now this is quite tedious, but if you can see your money in there and you can stick a piece of wire onto the money or even just above the note, uh, you can kind of pry it in a downwards direction. And that's what I'm trying to do there. I'm like grabbing hold of the note and then pulling the drum down. And that is gradually, gradually uh, pulling the notes down to the bottom of the drum. So I've had a go there on one of the notes that I could see. I'm going back to the element. Ah, oh, look at that. Would you look at that now? We have a Northern Irish five pound note. It's still sterling. It's still good. You should be able to spend it in England, but they don't always like them. Is it? Is it? It is. It is an Ulster bank note. A good old fiver can still be used. Nothing wrong with that. So back to the game again. Here we go. Let's have a look through the holes. Can we see anything? Can we see anything? Looks all clear there. There's got to be some more in here. Oh, there's a, there's a glimmer of purple. Purple means 20 pound note. There's a 20 pound note in there. This is on the left hand side this time. So let's get in there. What am I going to use this time? Oh, yes. We have a an empty pill wrapper and another twenty pound note. It is quite tedious. This it did take me. I mean, you have there's oh look at that. That's that's blue. That's another fiver. That's that's like the little um see that sparkly blue mark there. That's the what do you call it? It's like the hologram on on the five pound note that you can see glistening through there. Yeah, no, you do need a lot of patience for this. Way look at that, another fiver, and it's a it's an English fiver. Right here we go again. I know there's a twenty in here somewhere. I can see little glistens inside the drum and oh look at me i've gone for tweezers this time nice sharp pokey tweezers get them in there give it a give it a poke down go back to the element what have we got what have we got do we have anything here oh there is something in there but it's not quite in reach i've gone in with a piece of wire having a bit of a poke around what is it what is it uh tweezers 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 are always good trusty tweezers get in there girl what have you got what is it it's a 20 it's another 20 pound note look at that beautiful queen's head so what am I going to do here? Oh, finger jobbies. In they go. And we have... Do we have... Can't quite reach it. Going in again. It's worth it, you know. I mean, okay, it's taken about 10 minutes per note, but that's that's cheap wages, really, isn't it? It's like 20... That's like £60 an hour I'm getting here. I could have I could have called someone out to do this for me, but I'd have ended up having to give them all that cash just to get my cash. So what was the point? There's another beautiful 20. Look, there's another one stuck in the drum. It's another 20. Come on, Jenny, you can do this. You got this. You got this. Patience is a virtue. I'm pulling the drum down, so I'm trying to hook onto the note, and then when I've got the note grasped by the wire, pull the drum down, and it gradually pulls the note down towards the bottom. So here we go again. There's something sparkly in there. Got my tweezers. I do think the tweezers is better than the wire, but whatever you can use, whatever you've got, whatever you can find, just poke it in there. You can't do any damage. You're just putting metal into a metal hole, and there's a plastic back on there. You can actually see the note moving down as I poke that. Can you? If you look closely, that you can see the note starting to move down, and I'm just teasing it down, down and down and down the holes as we go bringing it right down to the bottom of the drum it's it's an art form it's a work of art i, I really do think you know uh, it's quite clever I, I didn't want to take you know the whole drum apart that would be a disaster i'd probably never get it put back together knowing me so there's more glistens of money show us your money get it in there poke it down you got this you've got this so let's go and have a look let's go and see what we got this time walking around the back it's quite a fun game actually what have we got this time do we? Oh, it's another 20. It's another beautiful 20. And go on, you girl. You, you got this. You got this. I've lost count how much money that is, but that's, you know, I'm feeling good about that. I'm feeling good about that. I feel like, you know, I could almost be there and maybe I am there. I'm just going to check the sump again because, oh my goodness, look at that. It's a brown one. You know what the brown ones are? You probably don't because they're from Northern Ireland as well. This is a, I think it's an Ulster Bank £10 note. Could be... It could be a Danske Bank, it could be... No, it's an Ulster Bank £10 note. There we go. Good old money, good old sterling. That's going right back in my pocket that's not going back in the washing machine. So I'm just clipping 
this thing back together, just keep it all neat. When you put your sump back on, make sure you tighten it. You make sure it's sealed all the way around. And make sure you tighten your screw again. Clip all your bits and pieces back on. Uh, lower your washing machine down nice and carefully. It's quite heavy, so be careful. Even harder to do with one hand while you're filming. Mind your toes, mind your toes. Don't drop it too hard. Nicely done, nicely done. So the top screwed off as easy as the back did. So you just put them back on the way you took them off. I'm, I'm not going to explain all that to you. It's quite simple. You know how to do that. Get the towel in there. Dry up any bits of uh, excess water that leaked off when you were tipping it back. Because as I said, water and electricity don't mix. Give it a good old clean. Check all your wires are properly connected and you've screwed your little nut back on get a nice strong seal against uh, the element uh, switch it on power it up switch it on stick it on a uh, quick rinse wash whilst you still have the back and top off and why do you want to do that because you want to check to make sure that you've put everything back together properly and nothing is going to leak so go around the back have a little look check at the element if you haven't tightened it up enough it'll be dripping there you don't want any drips so Make sure that it's completely sealed before you put the back on. Don't get your hair stuck in this thing while it's spinning around. Don't get your coat or your jumper or your trouser legs or your dogs or cats stuck in there. Be very careful. And look at this. Look at this. We've got 100 pounds sitting right there. 120, 130, 140, 150, 160 pounds. I lost 140. I've gained myself 160. Right, folks, that's it. I hope this helps you to get your money back if you've lost your money in the washing machine. If it did or you found this helpful, please subscribe. It would mean the world to me. I'm very close to a thousand subscribers and um, it would just be awesome if I could get to that to help me with making future, hopefully helpful videos for you. Take care, everyone, and good luck with your washing machines. Bye.